so there's no denying right now is not the greatest time to uh, be building a gaming PC. Graphics card prices are through the roof as well as RAM and SSD prices if that's the storage solution you're gonna go with. Uh, all those prices are right now through the roof and it's making it hard for budget PC builders to put together a system. So today I wanna address one of those problems and that would be the high RAM cost. Uh, with this platform that I'm gonna show you, it's an eight core uh, Intel Xeon platform which would be dual Xeon processors. It's an older platform, the LGA uh, 771 socket. So this is gonna be running DDR2 RAM, uh, but it will have 32 gigabytes of it and it will come in at a very attractive price point and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. But before I get straight into the parts, I do wanna point out I'm not really recommending you run out and build this type of system. This will give you solid gaming performance if you're willing to go through uh, the hoops of actually building it and putting it together. However, I think you would honestly be a little bit better served just using a little bit of more money and putting together a modern platform that will likely last you uh, longer down the road than this one will. However, this is one option on the market right now, specifically on that used market that I like to delve into from time to time. So first up is the Intel Xeon X5460. This is a 3.16 gigahertz processor on the LGA 771 socket. Um, and we would be purchasing two of these for this particular solution. So that would be $32 total. However, being that this is an auction that's a make and offer auction, uh, if you're willing to buy two of them, there's a decent chance that the seller would sell you them for something like $13, $14, $15 dollars a piece, something like that. So you might be able to save a little bit, but we're just gonna take it at face value of $32 for that. Next up, we need ECC RAM. This is a DDR2 RAM. This is 32 gigabytes of it in a four by eight configuration. However, the motherboard we're gonna be pairing it with has eight slots available to us. So we could get two of these kits if we really wanted. Right now, 32 gigabytes should be more than plenty for our gaming purposes. So I'd only pick up one kit for $25. And then of course there's the motherboard solution that we're going with. This is a, a dual socket motherboard, obviously on the LGA 771 platform again, where we would be parking our two processors. It does give us plenty of expandability if we wanna go that route. The form factor of it does make it a little bit difficult and you may have to do a little bit of a do it yourself solution for a case if you can't find one on the cheap but this would give you the platform for plugging in all of your uh, peripherals. So it, it would do its purpose and it's at a very attractive price point of just $40. So the last part here is a little bit of a nuisance and you could probably come up with a uh, do-it-yourself solution uh, if you have some other stock coolers laying around. But the uh, 771 socket from Intel is a little bit different than the more recent sockets. So you'll need to find a cooler that fits those. I found a pair of Foxconn heat sinks. They're nothing special, but it is two of them for $30. Um, and like I said, you may be able to do better and get better performance with a do-it-yourself solution or specifically a mounting solution for a different cooler. That being said, all four of those components together come out to a total of $126 for an eight core solution that would give you a great base platform for modern day games, provided that you're not running the highest end of graphics cards. But if you're putting together a solution like this, the chances are you're not actually running something like a 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti. And in my research for this video, I've learned that this type of solution specifically with these 5460 processors gives you roughly the equivalent as an FX 8350 processor, which if you look around on eBay, specifically in the sold section for the 8350s, these processors are still going for that $80, $90 price point um, if you're patient enough to look around for them. And that's just the processor, not counting things like RAM and the motherboard. So the solution here with the Xeons is going to be a little bit cheaper to give you roughly that eight core performance that you would see from an 8350. Now, again, for modern day gaming, if that's all you're going to be doing, I still recommend just buying a new PC, buying new components, even though you may have to pony up a little bit more money for those to get onto the platform. But modern day platforms from this point on will last further down the road than starting yourself out with a very old platform already. Um, and that's just my sort of policy when I'm building a new gaming PC for somebody or for myself. I really want to start out with at least something that 
that's a little bit more modern than this. However, if you're on an extreme budget and you really want to get up and running for the cheapest cost possible and you still want strong gaming performance, an FX8350 still gives you really strong gaming performance. And although I haven't had these processors in-house to try them, if the 5460 uh, Xeon processors do as well as the 8350 does in gaming, then that still is a solid option for gamers that are just trying to break into the PC gaming market. So here's my challenge to you. First of all, comment down below and let me know, are you running older sort of uh, workstation hardware as your uh, gaming rig, or have you ever looked into building something like this for an extreme budget gaming PC to get you up and running? And if you have, let me know what kind of hardware you're running or you would like to be running for this type of setup. And here's my challenge to you, the viewer. If this video gets a thousand likes, I will part together this system and benchmark it to give you the performance on a few different cards. Um, I have a 970 laying around uh, from NVIDIA that I could benchmark it with. I have a 1070. I even have a 1080 Ti that I could pair with this uh, this solution and benchmark it just to see how bad the bottleneck on the CPUs is. So a thousand likes and I will do just that. But if nothing else, you can comment, share, like down below. All those things are super helpful for this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They have the same tag for your convenience. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos around me from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.